my beautiful wife. <laughs> my wife. You're my wife. <laughs> Hello, my bee. I'm your husband. <laughs> We're going to spend the rest of our lives together. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh my goodness. One house move, one baby, two stag do's, and we're finally here. Uh, just as a record, I don't recommend to anyone to try doing that in one year. Not a good idea, at all. Or Weymouth, yeah, exactly. <laughs> we got here though, and, and to be honest, even with all the planning, all the stress, all the sleepless, night, no, sleepless nights, anticipation. <laughs> Uh, with all the anticipation, I enjoyed every minute. Because every minute, I spent with you. Aww. This is the point where I wanted to um, tell everyone the reasons that... Oh, John, you got such a big mouth, mate. You're going to experience one of Katie's right hooks in a minute. This is the point that I wanted to say to everyone exactly why I love you so much. But, um, if I'm honest, uh, I don't know the reasons why. <laughs> I just do. And, 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 and I've, I've, I've never really stopped to think about why I do it. And, and now that I have, I still don't know. <laughs> and it's just the way it is. You can't control love. This is getting serious now. You can't control love. It just happens to control you. Affecting my decisions, my emotions, and my actions. And you took all my aspirations and dreams of the person I wanted to be, and you made them come true. Because I love you, you made me a better person. You added a new dimension to my life, something I didn't know that existed. And then what... When I, when I thought I was filled to the brim of happiness, you gave me Bella. And I don't know... Before Bella was born, one of my friends told me that you'd never experienced love like you have for a child. And this is true. That was you. Well, I'm going to stop this, because I'm ashamed of that. I was going to do a magic trick. That's not the time. <laughs> <laughs> I was on a roll there. Have you done that? Before Bella was born, one of my friends told me that you'll never experience love like the love you have for a child. And this is so true. For anyone that has children, you will know your love grows and grows and never seems to stop. But then again, that's the only way I can describe my love for you. You, you, you set a new bar, you raise that bar, and you continue to do so every day. And I love you. I do solidly <laughs> declare that I know not of any lawful impediment why I, Alex Viola, may not be joined in matrimony to Katie Sherry. I call upon these persons here and present to witness that I, Alex Viola, do take the Katie Sherry, to be my lawful wedded wife. <laughs> what a <of> shit. <laughs> who wrote that? I just, honestly, who did write that? How did they get away with it? It's a load of bollocks. So, Katie, Katie Viola. This is my promise to you. I can't guarantee anything in this life. I don't know what life will throw at us, or what is around the corner. I can promise we'll be... Oh no, no, sorry. I can't promise we'll be wealthy, or that we'll have good health. But what I can promise is this. <laughs> I, I never got down on one knee when I proposed, so I, I, feel, like, I, feel, like, I feel like I should do this. Oh, serious? Come on, people. No hecklers. I, Alex Viola, will make an effort to put all the dishes in the dishwasher. 
I will try my hardest to speed up my DIY jobs <laughs> and finish them. I'll make you smile and I'll make you laugh. I promise I'll always put you first. I will work harder so you can work less. I'll protect you. I'll provide for you. I'll love you unconditionally. No matter how hard things get, I'll be there. And I'll be the best husband and father that I can. Katie, I love you so much. And I promise never to let you down. You look absolutely beautiful today. And I'm truly honoured to call you my wife. Ladies and gentlemen, these guys don't need any sort of introduction, and this is what you've all been waiting for. Woo! So, um, I must say at this point, they are liars, so <laughs> don't believe anything they're about to tell you right now. I'll pass this, I've got sweaty pants. It's horrible, yeah. I've been there. Here you go.